Good morning, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Larry Suvarov. And I'm Charlotte Clanny. Today is Wednesday, March 29th, and this is RT Today, brought to you by... The Main Cup, located on 14 West Main Street. On this day in history in 1973, two months after the signing of the Vietnam Peace Agreement, the last U.S. combat troops leave South Vietnam as Hanoi uh, frees many of the remaining American prisoners of war held in North Vietnam. Happy birthday today to Christian Blackburn, Blake Tribbett, Benjamin Young, Ryan Klein, William Hakenblade, and Skylar Skaggs. Let's go to Larry with a wrap of, of today's headlines. Thanks, Charlotte. In news following the Biden administration's controversial allowance of the Willow oil drilling project in Alaska, they have now begun auctioning off, off over 73 million acres of water in the Gulf of Mexico to offshore and, and gas drilling. In entertainment, Amazon is reportedly interested in buying movie theater company AMC Entertainment following an 18% jump in company shares. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos has appointed his investment advisors and top entertainment chiefs to explore acquisition plans for AMC. In sports, after, game, after a game-changing season, the women's basketball Final Four seeds have been determined. The teams moving on to the Final Four are LSU and Virginia Tech, battling at 7 p.m., and Iowa and South Carolina, battling at 9 p.m. That's a wrap. Let's go to Charlotte with today's announcements. Thanks, Larry. Juniors and seniors, the MHS Masquerade Prom is scheduled for Friday, April 28th from 7.30 to 10.30 at the Myersville Banquet Event Center. Tickets will be available through school cash online starting Monday, April 28th. April 17th. You will need to bring your signed permission slip and proof of payment to the ticket pickup in the cafeteria during lunch on Monday, April 24th through Thursday, April 27th. Gentlemen who would like to order tuxedos, men's warehouse will be available at MHS on Monday, April 3rd for fitting and pre-order. Save a trip to Frederick. The Community Foundation of Frederick County has more than 1 million available for scholarships for the 2022-2023 school year. Scholarships are awarded to Frederick County residents who are pursuing post-secondary education, including undergraduate and graduate degrees, and technical school certifications complete the application one time to be considered for more than 250 scholarship opportunities. Several available scholarships are specifically for Middletown High School students. Scholarship money can be used to pay tuition, room and board, books and other fees. The application must be completed online by Friday, March 31st and requires that you provide an unofficial copy of your transcript. Please reach out ASAP to your counselor, or Mrs. Bertolitis, to get this. Let's hear a little bit about the Student Leadership Conference and the Food Drive. Middletown is competing in a leadership conference against other schools. A huge part of the leadership aspect is collecting cans for a local food drive. Boxes are posted at the front and back entrances of the school. If everyone can bring in items like canned foods, pasta sauce, vegetable oil, pancake mix, toothpaste, hand soap, paper towels, and paper towels, it will be greatly appreciated. The deadline for the food drive is April 6th. Thank you, everyone. That sounds amazing. In sports, last night the boys varsity lacrosse team fell to Manchester Valley 7-5. Jackson Bennett had three goals and Ryan McClister and Griffin Sheridan both scored. Sheridan had two assists and Bennett and Mild Sons had each had one. The girls lacrosse team lost in Manchester Valley. The girls tennis team beat Oakdale 3-2. Sharon Martin won singles and first doubles team. Natalie Fox and Ash Butler won, as did Caden Ratliff and Olivia Yeatman. The boys' tennis team lost 2-3. to three. Jack Bolin won second singles and third doubles. Team Asher, Yarmus, and Maxwell Brown won. Tonight, the tennis team plays at Boonesboro at 4.30, and the baseball team has a game at Boonesboro at 4.45. The softball team also plays at Boonesboro at 4.45. Good luck, Knights. That's it for today's announcements. Let's look at today's weather. Thanks, Charlotte. The weather is expected to be pleasantly cool today with a high of 59 and a low of 30. Winds are expected to be light, so you can start to wear a lighter coat. That's it for weather. I'm Angela Ocampo. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for watching. You can find more content on mhsroundtable.com, or you can download our app, Student News Source, for access to our articles, videos, and podcasts.
I'm Larry Suvaroff. And I'm Charlotte Claney. We leave you with this final thought. Hi, I'm Josh Sherp, and I leave you with this final thought. Dream it, then make it happen.